Hello everyone, this is Corduroy, and I have the Standing Liberty Corridor here, and it's dateless, as you can see. And I'm 100% sure I know exactly what date and meant this is. And I'm going to go to some still photos here, uh, showing this coin, and this other Standing Liberty that I have, which has the date on it, 1925. And I just wanted to tell you that um, I've always had this coin. This coin I had in my collection for the longest time, but this one right here, I won in an eBay auction with, it was in a lot of some other coins, and I do not think the seller knew exactly what date this was, because they just listed it as a dateless coin with all the other coins that I um, won in that auction. So look at those still videos coming up and the reasoning behind why I think what date it is, and tell me what you think. So the first thing I want to show you is this little snippet from the Red Book that I have that shows the first couple dates of the Standing Liberty Quarter. And the only thing I want to point out here is that if you see 1916, there is no uh, wording by it, but 1917 it says Variety 1. That is because in also 1917 they came out with a Variety 2. The same design that they used for 1916, they used for the 1917 in the Variety 1. And then sometime during that year they switched up the design and called it Variety 2. And the main th difference that you can s tell these two apart is if you flip them over to the reverse side, you'll see no stars underneath the eagle in Variety 1, and you'll see three stars underneath the eagle in Variety 2. Now there's some other subtle changes on the front that I'm going to show you in the next clip. So here's the two quarters side by side, and there's a couple things I'm going to point out on, on these that are differences between the two. If you look at what the lady is holding here, you can see that there's a lot more like petals or leaves on what she's holding right here, and they actually get in way of the L. And if you look over here, there's a lot less leaves on here, and there's nothing um, interfering or getting in front of the L in Liberty. Also, if you notice on this one, the star down here has a little smudge by it. Well, it's not a smudge. It's actually the mint mark to this coin. And it's a D, and I'll show you a close-up of it in the next clip so you can see for yourself. But the mint mark on the Variety 2 would be located right here if the coin had a mint mark. And also while I'm on this side of the picture, notice the M. This M you can see like the middle part of the M goes all the way down to the bottom line and this M is kind of more compact compared to this M over here in which the middle part only goes about halfway down and it doesn't you can tell it doesn't look as compact as the other one and then the last thing I'm going to show you on the obverse is look at how much stars you see on the shield here there's a ton of stars there and if you look over here, I could just count them very quickly. One, two, three, four, five, maybe six stars on that shield. So those are just some of the differences between the two varieties on the front side or the obverse of these coins. Now, this is up to you, but the way I look at this, this is a D. There's no way this can be an S. You see the back side of the D right here and how it curves down in the front right there. So this is definitely a D. Um, but like I said, you can be the judge of that. Look at this picture, see what's going on. And then this last clip, this is the obvious evidence that this is a variety one on the left. Because if you look right here, there's no stars underneath the eagle. And if you go over to the right, to the 1925 coin, you see there's three stars right underneath that eagle. So it's definitely a variety one with a mint mark of D on the front. And so the next clip I'm going back to the little snippet from the Red Book to show you exactly why I know what date it is. So here we are back at the Red Book. So we knew the coin was a variety one. We knew that it had a mint mark of a D on it. So therefore it must be a 1917 D because the 1916 didn't have a mint mark and therefore we know it's not from that year and it has to be this 1917 D. So I'd be interested to see, you, you've watched all the clips and if you agree, I'd really like you to either like the clip or leave a comment that you, you, know, you agree that it's a 1917D. But if you disagree, dislike the clip or leave a comment saying what you think the real date is.